exercise has been demonstrated to be effective in the management uh, of patients with Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease along several lines. We know that it improves strength. Uh, strength is directly related to what's described as functional independence, that is, one's ability to carry out independently what are called ADLs or activities of daily living. And one's ability to do this is also directly, directly related to a high quality of life. Physiologically, we know that exercise can improve and maintain um, the size and integrity of one's muscles. And in Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease, one of the hallmarks of the disease is a loss of muscle mass. Uh, it can also improve what's termed the aerobic capacity, that is, the ability that we have as humans to move oxygen in and out of our lungs during exercise and activity. Aerobic capacity could also be referred to as one's endurance. So the integrity of one's muscles, the strength of one's muscles, the ability of our, our cardiorespiratory system, the workings of our heart and lungs, these attributes are directly related to our ability to live our daily lives. And this is, this is the, the benefit that exercise has been demonstrated to provide for patients with Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease.